What's up, everybody? Noah Kisser back here for my complete Blu-ray and DVD Hallmark collection. So this is just Hallmark Channel original movies or movies that Hallmark has the rights to. So let's get right into it. We're going to go with miscellaneous stuff first. We are going to go with the two Blu-rays that are available. This is The Wedding Veil and The Wedding Veil Unveiled. The Wedding Veil Legacy will be coming out. Well, it's actually out right now on DVD Blu-ray. Is a little bit late. I think they had a problem shipping it. They did have a problem with this one too. I got this one a week late. So I'm going to be getting that one about a week or so, maybe a month or so now. I did pre order it and it's still not out. A dog named Christmas got that one from Family Video for very, very cheap. Have not seen this one, The Mistletoe Promise. Christmas cookies. Uh, one Royal Holiday, one from 2020 that I did enjoy. Project Christmas Wish, another good one. This one has, uh, oh gosh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to do the names right now. Delivered by Christmas, very good one. Roadhouse Romance, love that one, love my country music. Taking a Shot at Love, one of my favorites from uh, 2021, no, 2020, sorry, 2020, love that one. And then a double feature of Cancel Christmas and Christmas Magic. So let's get right into the mystery series. Uh, th there will be a Blu-ray DVD update come with two of these in them, so let's get right into it. We have a Fixer Upper Mystery, Flower Shop Mystery, comes with all three of those movies on it, Crossword Mysteries, Picture Perfect Mysteries, Matchmaker Mysteries, and Ruby Herring Mysteries. Complete movie collection of Murder, She Baked. It's no longer complete anymore because they did do a Hannah Swenson mystery, which is a completely different series. Now, it, 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 it's the same same characters, but just different. Love, Romance, and Chocolate. Love on Safari and Moonlight in Vermont. Lacey's Breast Triple Feature. Uh, Bottled with Love. Following Me to Daisy Hills and Falling for... Uh, yeah, Falling for Look Lodge. I love this one. Like that one. Not a big fan of this one right here, but I do love these top two. Royal Hearts, Royal Matchmaker, and Once Upon a Prince, Love and Design, and Valentine Ever After, Perfect Match in All Things Valentine, Love at First Glance, and Matchmaker, sorry, um, and Matching Hearts, In the Key of Love, and a Valentine's Match, I do love this one right here, don't don't, I don't believe I've seen these yet, uh, Anything for Love, and a Dash, of love, just my type, and harvest love. I love harvest love. I like just my type. Love to the rescue, and like cats and dogs. Beverly Hills wedding, and my best friend's bouquet. A summer romance, and home by spring. Very good film, featuring uh, dirt on my boots. Is it dirt on my boots? Um, it's dirt on my boots or heartache on the dance floor. It's either one. Just Add Romance and Love on the Menu, two cooking ones. I'm a sucker for a good cooking romance film. It's not gonna go, it's not gonna go in there. You're Baking Me Crazy and The Secret Ingredient. I do enjoy these two. This one is the better film. This is kind of like a baking slash competition movie. And You're Baking Me Crazy was a bit of a letdown, but I like the lead actress. The Perfect Pairing, one from this year. I'm very surprised they released this early. Uh, Raise a Glass to Love, one that I did love from 2021. We'll be watching those very, very soon. Um, most, of these I, most of these I have seen. Unleashing Mr. Darcy and Marrying Mr. Darcy. Big fan of Ryan Pavey and Cindy Busby. One of my favorite Hallmark films of all time right here. Winter Love Story about two authors who go on a book tour. And a winter princess, you give me royalty, you already got my purchase or my viewing. Two very, very good films here. One Winter Weekend and One Winter Proposal. I want a triple feature set with One Winter Wedding. You change it to One Winter Wedding, but it's actually One Perfect Wedding. Two for the Win and a Winter Getaway. Very underrated film here. I need to give that one a second chance. I didn't love it the first time. Amazing Winter Romance. Snow Kissed. I know that Dara is not a big fan of Snow Kissed. She's not a big fan of Chris McNally, but hey, that's perfectly fine. I think Jen Lilly had great chemistry with him. Country at Heart and Wedding at Graceland. Winter Castle and Love on Iceland. Love in the Forecast and Romance in the Air. Two fantastic Hallmark films here. If you have not seen these yet, definitely check it out. I just flipped that one inside out. 
Chasing Waterfalls, very good film here. All three of these uh, actually starring Cindy Busby uh, and directed by, I don't want to get her name wrong, Christy Well Wolf. They did another one just recently uh, that I will be pre-ordering. A New Year's Resolution, nice little film from 2020, uh, but not one that I'm really raving about. Winter's Dream, I have not seen this one yet. I will be watching that one very, very soon. One I love, Winter and Veil, it's Lacey Chabert, it's Tyler Hines, how can you go wrong? This is not the last time that you're going to see either one of them on, on this video. I just did Winter and Veil. Hearts of Winter, love this one. Another copy of Wedding at Graceland. It's because I got this one before I got the double feature set, and I'll probably get rid of that at some point. Country Wedding. Charming little music-type wedding film. Sunshine. Love and Sunshine. Danica McKellar. Very nice patriotic romance film there. Love, of course. Great fall film. Sweet Autumn. Nice little fall harvest film that they did. As luck would have it, one from last year that stole my heart. I love that film. The best film that they did last year was It Always Was It, it Was Always You. Fantastic Hallmark film, one of the best Hallmark films of all time. Zero discussion about that, hands down. Sweet Carolina, the second best Hallmark film they did last year. Right in front of me, another great one they did from last year. Mix up in the Mediterranean. People did not want to watch this one for some reason. I know why. Because it has a gay storyline in it. Well, you want to know what? D deal with it. Um, if you don't support the gays, then that's perfectly fine. That's your opinion. That's your choice. I personally like that film. I'm a big fan of Jeremy Jordan. Her pen pal was one that was fine. Very, very Valentine. Danica McKellar. Love that one. Uh, all of my heart collection. All three of these are freaking fantastic. A singular copy of Love on Safari. My Secret Valentine. Just the way you are. This one is not Hallmark, but I'm going to include it anyways. This is a pure fic romance movie called Finding Normal. I will be back in just a second for part two. We're going to continue with Sand Dollar Cove. Evergreen, Christmas and Evergreen, Bells Are Ringing. A cookie cutter Christmas. Tis the season for love. I'm going to take that one out so I can actually get these out now. Falling for Vermont, fantastic film for fall. Holly and Ivy, love that film. Have not seen Miss Christmas yet. I do not remember seeing a Bramble House Christmas. A little Christmas charm. This one I just got because it was part of the collection. Uh, this is a fine film, but nothing great. This is a great film. USS Christmas. I was actually on that ship performing uh, in high school. Christmas Everlasting. Love that film. The Swedish Christmas and Christmas in the Air. And Journey Back to Christmas. The Christmas Cure. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Christmas Camp. Fantastic film. This is actually on... Uh, Hallmark Movies and More, a free channel th that I have on my TV. The Town of Christmas Forgot, fantastic film. Have not seen these two, November Christmas and Silver Bells. We'll be watching those probably in October. Love at the Thanksgiving Day Parade, Christmas Song, Baby First Christmas, and A Bride for Christmas. Only one I've seen is A Bride for Christmas. The Christmas House. I did just pre-order uh, the sequel to it. Love Lights Hanukkah. Love that film. Really, really good. On the Twelfth Day of Christmas, I do like that film. Christmas in Vienna, decent little Hallmark film. Five Star Christmas. I got this one because I wanted to give this one a second chance. Uh, and it's easier when I have it on DVD, so love having to own that. Uh, Chateau Christmas, fine. Christmas, Christmas by Starlight, again, fine. A Christmas Tree Grows in Colorado. I don't remember this one all that much. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember a whole lot about that one. Don't Go Breaking My Heart. I like that one. This is one I just watched last night. Love at Sea. I love the Penavegas. They do have another one coming out in August. Love Under the Rainbow. We do have two Jodie Sweeten Christmas films coming out this year. Summer of Dreams. I have not seen Wedding of Dreams. Uh, Dater's Handbook and When Sparks Fly. A Meghan Markle double feature set. 
Valentine in the Vineyard, and this and the story of us. A royal love story collection. Fit for a prince, that one's fine, and a summer prince is very, very good. This is one I have not seen. So you said yes. And then I have not seen... Have I seen this one? I believe I've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen this one, but it's just been a couple years. A Homecoming for Christmas. Stay tuned for part three. Here we go. We will be doing a whole Christmas collection soon, but uh, that'll probably be on the day of Countdown to Christmas starts, which is going to be, I believe, October 21st or 22nd. So we're going to continue with Debbie McCumber's uh, a, um, Miss Miracle, Call Me Miss Miracle. Finding Father Christmas, Engaging Father Christmas, and Marrying Father Christmas. I have not seen either of those three. Uh, then we're going to come down here to the Christmas card. I do have a backup copy of that one. Lucky Christmas. Good little film there. This one isn't technically Hallmark, but, it, but I'm going to count it. A Princess for Christmas. They air that one a lot. The Case for Christmas, where Santa Claus loses his mind, I believe. Is this one where he... He loses his mind. Uh, no, pe people are losing faith, and uh, he, he has to go through a court case. Marianne Bride, that one is about uh, the candy cane company. God went Christmas, second chance, first love. Christmas and Homestead. This is the one where they're filming a movie. Christmas in Montana, our Christmas love song in a blue mountain. A Blue Ridge Mountain Christmas. Entertaining Christmas. A good one. Uh, a Homecoming for the Holidays and Holiday for Heroes. Holiday for... He I, I just dropped it. Holiday for Heroes is a really, really good one. Uh, it's a year's wor worth of letters and their worlds finally collide. Very good film there. Uh, four film pack here of Cancel Christmas, Christmas Magic... Mistletoe over Manhattan and the Santa suit. The only one I've seen all the way through is Cancel Christmas. I've not seen, well, I've seen most of the Santa suit. I just haven't seen Christmas Magic or Mistletoe over Manhattan. So now we're going to stick that back in there. And then the last one we have, just, just got to get it out, is North Pole for that section. Now we're going to go to these. This is the beast. Here we go. We're going to lift that up. And we are going to do Christmas Under Wraps. A Christmas Detour. Like that film. Uh, by, by the way, this is my favorite all-time Hallmark... Uh, my favorite Christmas film of all time from Hallmark and my all-time favorite Hallmark film. Let It Snow. Good film. Moonlight and Mistletoe. We have Christmas Town. If I only had Christmas. I do not like that film a whole lot, but it's for the Candace Cameron Bray collection. If you're going to have most of them, you're going to have to get all of them. Christmas Detour, Christmas Under Wraps, Journey Back to Christmas, and Switch for Christmas. Only one I haven't seen is Switch for Christmas. Uh, I've seen portions of Journey Back to Christmas. It's just been on at the wrong times for me. Either I'm at work or something like that. We have a Shoe Addicts Christmas. A Royal Christmas. Love that film. Christmas Waltz. The best film they did of 2020. And the best Christmas film they did of 2020. Time for Us to Come Home for Christmas. That was in the top five that they did in 2020. Christmas in Rome. I do like that one a lot. A Christmas Melody. I've seen that one once. A singular copy of The Sweetest Christmas. Let's try doing this. Okay. Pride, Prejudice, and Mistletoe. Crown for Christmas. Christmas at Dollywood. Yes, I know you see Lucy. Uh, coming for... Coming Home for Christmas, My Christmas Dream, and yes, I do have the actresses kind of in their own sections. Christmas at Grand Valley, Christmas Made Order, and Christmas at Pemberley Manor. Christmas She Wrote, 
Sure, bring two out once. A Timeless Christmas, love that one. The second best one they did last year. Or of uh, 2020, I mean. Christmas Next Door and Christmas at Holly Lodge. I've seen a lot of Christmas at Holly Lodge. I've just never seen the whole thing. And I have not seen a... Um, I've not seen Christmas Next Door. This is one of my favorites here. Christmas at Graceland. You need some joy. Broadcasting Christmas. Time for me to come home for Christmas. I just need time for you to come home for Christmas. And time for them to come home. Time for you is already out. Time for them should be coming out this year. It's Christmas Eve. Christmas at Cartwrights. Like that one a lot. Best Christmas party ever. I got that one for like $4.99, and I believe I've seen that one all the way through. The Mistletoe Secret, I like that one. Four film pack here of a very many mix up, one of my favorites. Uh, the Christmas Ornament, Hitch for Holiday is another one of my favorites, and Come Dance With Me. The, uh, the Most Wonderful Time of the Year, I will be buying that one on Blu ray very, very soon. Uh, Andy Claus is coming to town, Holiday Engagement, and a Christmas Kiss. I have not seen Andy Claus is coming to town, but I really like all of those other three. And then we're going, we're only doing two more. We have a Holiday Miracle 9 movie collection. This comes with the Christmas shoes. The Hello. Hello. The Christmas shoes. The Christmas blessing. The, the most wonderful time of the year. The Christmas hope. One Christmas holiday engagement, Christmas in Canaan, Christmas comes to Canaan, and the and the Christmas choir. And then finally, we are going to wrap things up with a film that is not released by Hallmark or made by Hallmark, but they air it, so I'm counting it. And that is The Ultimate Gift with Drew Fuller and Abigail Breslin and James Garner. There you go, everybody. There is the complete Hallmark DVD and Blu-ray collection. I will be getting more. I pre-ordered some, and we'll be going. Uh, I was going to be. Oh, I was going to be going over what I did pre-order, but I'm not going to do that uh, because this video is already too long. Uh, but stay tuned because once we get to the first day of countdown to Christmas on Hallmark Channel, you guys will see all my Christmas films, and I will see all of you guys next time for my review of my grown-up Christmas list, Campfire Christmas, Thor: Love and Thunder. And a lot, a lot more. I will see all of you guys next time.